But they put they put a document called a certification of live birth. The certification of live birth states that Obama was born in Hawaii. That document is a forgery. It's a fraud, just like Obama is. He really is, ladies and gentlemen. And I know they're strong words. If any of you today, if I asked any of you to produce your birth certificate, you could give it to me today or tomorrow, and if you lost it, you could get a new one within two to five days by paying five to twenty dollars. Why hasn't Obama approved, provided a birth certificate? The reason is because his birth certificate will indicate that he was born in Kenya. We have the, the audio of a tape that was taken about three weeks, three to four weeks ago, right after the last debate, by two ministers. One minister was present at her home, at the home of the paternal grandmother, Sarah Obama, in Kenya, and the other minister was here in Pennsylvania. And they took it over a cell phone. The statement was asked to be recorded. There's two affidavits on, um, matter of fact, they're coming today. I think those documents are coming forth this afternoon, be here shortly. And we also have the translation. It goes from English to Swahili, Swahili to English, back and forth. But his grandmother, 85-year-old, oh, which he doesn't refer to right now, he sort of lets that slide. He talked about his maternal grandmother, who unfortunately passed away, but he doesn't talk about his paternal grandmother. But yet there was a national holiday a week or two ago in Kenya after Obama wasn't elected, as far as the Electoral College hasn't voted yet, when he received more votes than anyone else on November 4th, they had a national holiday. And a week or two ago, there was a telephone call from a, a Detroit radio station to the Kenyan ambassador here in Washington, and in that discussion, it basically said his home is there. We know where his national spot in, in, in um, Kenya already. And now the ambassador is trying to double talk his way back out of that. Um, if Obama really had a Hawaiian birth certificate, we would have seen it by now. What's been misquoted a lot of times is the Hawaiian authorities, <coughs> two individuals stated they saw his birth certificate and it's for real. But notice in their statement, if you go back a couple weeks ago, it does not mention that it's a Hawaiian birth certificate. It also doesn't mention Kenya, but it does not mention it's a Hawaiian birth certificate. Our research is determined based on the grandmother and other, he was born in Kenya. Then they came back to the United States and registered the birth, which is allowed in Hawaii. By being in, born out of the country, any of you, any citizens of the United States, if you travel, if both parents are from the United States and you're out of the country on vacation, once you go through immigration and come back, your child is considered natural born. When only one parent is a United States citizen, you have to look at the law in effect at that time. The law in effect at that time said the U.S. citizen must have lived here 10 years, and five of those years had to be after the age of 14. His mother was only 18 when she delivered. Now, some people come up and say, that's a technicality, 18 to 19. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't write the law. You didn't write the law. The law was written many years ago. And the, 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 it goes by the date of the birth of the child. Based on that, if I'm correct, he's born in Kenya, he is only a naturalized citizen to be president of the United States. Next, even if he's born in Hawaii, he loses, even if he's born in Hawaii, he loses his citizenship when he goes to Indonesia. Now let me just give you that again perspective so you understand. If any of us here go out of country and adopt a child, we bring the child to the United States. When we go through the paperwork and stuff, that child becomes a naturalized citizen of the United States, and that child takes your name in most instances. Well, Obama's parents divorced. His mother remarried in Hawaii. Obama stayed in his book. My step Barack Obama returned to Indonesia before I did. When my mother and I went there, I immediately went to school. Indonesia in the 1960s was a turmoil. The only ones who were allowed in school were natural born citizens of Indonesia. Now he wasn't born there, but the statute go on further, you could be considered natural born if you're adopted or acknowledged by your stepfather. That's what happened. One or the other happened because he goes to school there for four years. We have a copy of his school record which is coming over again this afternoon. It's also on our website, ObamaCrimes.com, which shows his name, Barry Sotura. It also states nationality, Indonesia, and religion, Islam. With now, our, we want a peaceful revolution 
a peaceful revolution to enforce the U.S. Constitution. Thank you. Good work. <laughs> Aren't they covering it? This is the biggest story of the century. A U.S. media is not covering it. And I know the U.S. media is more to the left than some document image and the photographs purported to be of that document are forged. 